I mean, since we talked about the bubble, we got to at least touch on it. Yeah, let's touch and on it. Yeah. I remember we're, <laughs> God, I we're chilling in Miami watching y'all, man. Uh-huh. Like, Shout out it, to y'all for going. It's like, yeah. <laughs> and oh, I remember. A choice, y'all. I, <laughs> that was there regardless. We appreciate y'all. Man. I remember your step back buzzer beater mm-hmm. against, I believe it was the Nuggets. Here's Davis, 4-3 in the win. Oh, it's good. Anthony Davis has won it for the Lakers. And that's when I was just like. Oh my gosh, like special. Because you was doing everything. Yeah. Bro. It was like, I don't know who yeah, else is doing this. And and it was just like, it, it was amazing me at that point. I knew you were special at that point, but obviously y'all won the ship, y'all won everything. But what was interesting to me, and I want y'all to chime in too, is like, y'all was in one place all the time. Like, what was y'all like day to day like? Like, what was y'all what doing? got you through that? I was gonna say, shit, I wanna know the mentality. Yeah. <laughs> so. This was a this was a everyday life. So we get there, we get there and we are confined to our rooms. So it's three different hotels. Right? Right. And they break the ho- the teams up. Like y'all in this hotel, on this so we never seen another team. Right? Y'all locked in. Um, unless we're going to like the practice, because they had three or four practice courses in each hotel. Yeah, scrambled them up. Yeah, so right. it's like we might see some Clipper players as we walking out a practice, or you can just call them like, "Yo, meet me outside on the lawn," and like you can go fishing and just golf and shit. So you will see them then, but on every day you really wouldn't see them. So we get there and we confine to our rooms for maybe two days, right? They come in and test and everything, right. like no practice, no nothing. You're in your room, and my, there's no restaurants open. There's nobody. There's nothing. So you're eating hotel food, like, all day. You can't time. bring food in, like, because oh, of COVID protocol. So it was literally nothing. That's tough. That's tough. So we're sitting there, and, and this one I got on the game, like, heavy, like, the duty and shit. But <laughs> <laughs> Yes, sir. Get on that game, man. That's how like you kill time. Um, when we first get there, it's just like, damn. It was day one, day two. We were there for 72 days. <laughs> mm. We were there for 72 days, and um, – no, I'm sorry. We were there for longer than that. We had 72 days between when we won until our very first game. We had oh, 72 after, days. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We were there for all three months. Almost three months. Yeah, That's crazy. And so we sitting there, and it's like, man, what do we do? There's nothing to do. Mind you, no family can come in for the first, like, month and a half. So it's like you 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 on your lonely. Yeah. That's sick. All right. And uh you go practice, then you still got like some regular season games before. So we had like three or four games before the actual like playoffs and shit started. And it started getting to a point where like and then mind you, you had stuff going out going on outside. What's uh I don't want to disrespect the family, but what's the, no, no in Louisville. Oh, Breonna Taylor. Breonna Taylor. Yep, yep. So, and mind you, Dolan from Louisville. Yep. So, Dolan, like, Big man, deal. I might have to get back. Like, right. you know, I had some personal family stuff going on. Then I'm like, man, I might have to dip. Like, a bunch I can't, of I can't some, stay in here. Yeah. Like, you know, um, and man. it's a lot of, you know, stuff that was going on as far as, like, the black community that was going there. Guys, like, man. And we actually had a meeting. And the guys was like, what y'all want to do? Oh, Y'all want to shut real. this shit down? And everybody was looking at fucking LeBron. We all in the room, CJ holding, CJ's hosting the, the damn meeting, and they like, what y'all want to do? So you got every team in this room. And once they said, all right, everybody vote. We're going to let y'all talk to y'all team for about 10 minutes, and we'll come back in. We'll say, everybody say what y'all want to do. Majority is what we're doing. When I say, <laughs> when I crazy, say, bro. nobody discussed. All motherfuckers did was look to us like, <laughs> whoa. Hey, what, what the Lakers doing? doing, man? What you doing, six? Facts. That's real. So we, we get on a we get on a on a call with like our people, we're like well his team, and they like, man, look, to be a good look for the league, like y'all gotta stay, like y'all have to stay. But the NBA was like, we'll do these certain things to make sure that we taking care of the things that y'all are fighting so hard for inside the bubble. 
Mm-hmm. Right. All right, cool. Ron say we stand. No other vote matters. Right. Because <laughs> one bubble is going on. <laughs> right? LeBron bubble. <laughs> LeBron bubble. <laughs> so, um, so we like, all right, cool. So we like, all right, let's lock back in. And with, with maybe like, my, all I did was play Madden at the time. I never played Call of Duty. Okay. And Braun and Duds, like, we all be in each other's room, and they just walk and play Madden. Braun, like, man, I'm about to get back to it. I got the itch. So I was like, fuck it. Playing ever since. Bro. Yeah, so I'm <laughs> like, fuck it. We had like, we had like seven, eight guys playing Madden. Yeah. So I'm like, you know what? I ordered this big ass whiteboard, brought it to my room, and I wrote everybody's name on there. And I did round one, round two, round three. Oh, and we did a whole fucking That's draft. Fine. That's fine. And we had a whole league That's fine. for the Lakers in the, in the bubble to the point where, like, <laughs> the coaches, you know, and other players, staff, whatever, are now making uh, the little fantasy squares and shit. Mm. And bam, like, and oh, I bet who's going to win. Yeah, like, six. We had a real, like, little yeah. thing. But see, I feel like that camaraderie this is so shit, important. Where it's yeah, like, and that's you, why, and I think that's why we won a lot. But, like, it was, it was, I mean, it was as bad as people thought. But the first couple days mm-hmm. and first couple weeks was just like, how the hell I'm going to do this? Mm-hmm. Right? right? And then after a month or so, month and a half, you were able to bring some family in. Yeah. So my wife came, my daughter came, uh, my parents. Yeah. So it was like, all right, cool. Makes you it a little bit easier. The myth is that Bron stayed at uh, Walt Disney's resort or something. Nah, Bron stayed next door to me, man. He did. He shut on that stayed down, on top man. of the joint. <laughs> it's we all good. Yeah, Bron, Bron stayed, he stayed uh, in the room. He That's stayed fine. in the room. But um, y'all was boo ran it was some boo ray going some on. Blu-ray? So they so then after like after a month, we test every day. We right. tested every day. Ah, every day. Man. I'm talking about like it wasn't just like, huh, and it, that's like brain. Brain. Right. We're going straight to the brain. <laughs> Dang, every day. <laughs> every day. You're sick of that. And so um they had this uh eleventh floor, the hotel we were in. So we had uh some guys to come over and you know, we'll we'll boo a little bit, but I don't I don't really like booing with people I don't know. Right. Cause now it's like you mm-hmm. owe me some bread. So I'm gonna track know you down, you, bro. Like, yeah. you know. So um, we never did that, but uh, we was all locked in on the Madden. Yes, yeah, we was locked in on the Madden. But I think that's what's uh what's got us through, um, us just being around each other. We they had some then some restaurants inside the property started opening, mm-hmm. so we started like going there and that's fine. little team, team dinners. dinners and mm-hmm. shit like that. But Goes it wasn't way. as bad as people make it to seem. Yeah. But it definitely could have got, like, I could see why some people say it was stressful. And but, people were leaving, though, right? Yeah, people were leaving, like, but for emergency, right. you know, okay. you know, like, Trez left a couple times. Yeah, Austin um, left for a little bit. The whole Lou Will. <laughs> <laughs> Lou Will <laughs> shit. But um, it wasn't it wasn't as bad, man. It was actually it was actually cool from the standpoint of, like, just basketball. Th- that's it. Yeah, I get I to just that. hoop. I don't have to mm-hmm. worry about anything else, like, just hoop. Not on the hoop, road. Go to sleep. Mm-hmm. I ain't got to worry about travel. I ain't, and that's why you see a lot of the best basketball from players. Was there. Was, was there, there that bro. That makes so much in. sense. Does, that's though. where. That's, we got to talk why. about that, bro. That's yeah. why. There was some characters that came bro, out. Bro, TJ Warren going crazy, bro. 50 ball. 50 yeah. ball. Looking like he back in Brewster, Brewster, bro. Like, like, damn. He that's was real. going crazy, bro. That's so it was like. Harrow, Mary. To the Jamal Donovan, like that matchup. They're both epic matchup. And I think that is because everybody was so locked in where it's like there's no outside nothing. It's just be here. It's not anything. 